Welcome to What Drives Finger Motion. Muscles, even at rest, have a passive viscoelastic quality to them. And as that sling is pulled proximally, it lifts the proximal phalanx into extension. There is tension into this insertion only during active metacarpal phalangeal joint hyperextension. You can see then that the pull actually would transfer better to the oblique fibers. And pull the lateral edges of the dorsal apparatus distally and I am creating some slack at the central slip insertion. The triangular ligament prevents the lateral bands from going too far. These same muscles are crossing over this joint, but two of them are acting in the opposite direction. The metacarpal phalangeal joint is extended to neutral, but there's no power transmitted out to fully extend the PIP and or DIP joints. There's only an interosseous muscle here versus here there's also a lumbrical sharing some of the power. In this example with the MP joint extended, the lumbrical contraction is shortening the muscle and therefore is pulling the entire structure proximally. The excursion of the lumbrical is significantly greater. The lateral bands and their contribution are extending the DIP joint. You see the lumbrical picking up. We see that if there's resistance, the interosseous contributes more.